a moment that has what we call pathos, emotion, humiliation in politics. And I don't say that because we want to focus on the tawdry or the tabloid. If you watch this program, you may know that is not really what we focus on. But this is a moment where the humiliation of Republican Senator Lindsey Graham relates to something much deeper and more important. It tells us about where not only the Republican Party is, but why we have so many problems defending our democracy these days. Now, you may know Lindsey Graham. He is really one of the people who has had a kind of a self-defeating obsession with winning over Trump, even though he initially warned more than many about how bad Trump is. And that makes Lindsey Graham a particularly troubled character because the public record shows he knows exactly what he's doing. That may be different from someone who gets caught up in the emotion of it or is a true believer, even a misguided one. No, Lindsey Graham was humiliated, even though he has tried so hard to win Trump back over after initially warning about him. Now, I'm going to show you the moment here at a Trump rally. This was in Graham's home state of South Carolina, so the politics matter to him there. And even though he has gone on a long, long road trying to win over Trump, and we'll get into some of that, just watch as this crowd unleashes before Graham even speaks. Welcome to Pickens. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome to Pickens County. A little bit about this county. Just calm down for a second. Graham doing what politicians don't like to do, which is resort to acknowledging how bad the booing was. If you can get through a few seconds, the general advice in politics is just act like it's not happening. But it went on, as we showed you there for so long, that he had to plead with the crowd to calm down as people who had been picked as MAGA faithful behind him even were giving him the gladiator thumbs down. There were even those chanting, traitor. It's an embarrassment to Graham, who has spent years trying to build up his Trump cred. It's drawing headlines from USA Today to the local Fox station. The Greenville News points out Graham grew up in the exact area, that county where that rally was, Pickens County. And when Trump spoke, it didn't get any better for Graham. You know, you can make mistakes on occasion. Even Lindsey down here, Senator Lindsey Graham. We love Senator Graham. We're gonna, we're gonna love him. We're gonna love him. I know, it's half and half. But when I need some of those liberal votes, he's always there to help me get them, okay? We got some pretty liberal people, but he's good. He's, he's, he's there. He's there when you need him. He's there when you need him. I'm going to get him straightened. By the end, Trump saying he's going to, quote, get him straightened out. It's half and half. He calls him a liberal, which is really an insult down in that county. And Trump knows that while still dangling the thought, the prospect of further support. He has Graham right where he wants him. This is Donald Trump at his most politically transactional, perhaps at his most cruel. It is part of the reason that we see so many problems in Washington with the Republican Party. This is kind of the, as I said, emotional, visual, kind of humiliating exposition of it. It's a treatment other senators don't want. It's a treatment that Graham of course doesn't like right now, but he'll put up with it, humiliating himself in public, going along with this, bending the knee and all of this, even as his own local fans or local voters go after him, fans of Trump. But he's been desperate to ingratiate himself, and he was the one who thought, for whatever reason, that he would draw a line, that he would stand up to Trump in 2016. And so, again, my point here tonight, before we bring in our guests to talk about the party's problems, is consider that Lindsey Graham knows exactly who he's sucking up to. I think he's a kook. I think he's crazy. I think he's unfit for office. If you think Trump is bad for the party, I disagree with you. He's a race-baiting, xenophobic, religious bigot. Do you think that he is a racist? Absolutely not. You know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. I think President Trump is good for the party. All I can say is uh, count me out. Enough is enough. <laughs> 